So I want to welcome everybody to Coffee with Mr. Karsten. I'm actually starting off our session today in our elementary music room. School year has started, uh, some great music things in our fine art department take place in this room. I want to call you back to last week when we started Coffee with Mr. Karsten. We kind of introduced that to everybody. We talked about a long-range plan that was going to start to happen with our school board and some of our teachers. And I want to give you an update on that today. And we talked about our football program a little bit. And I also want to update you on kind of where the guys stand leading up to homecoming next week, uh, week of October 5th through 9th. So Coffee with Mr. Carson today, a little update. And then I want to talk about uh, especially the long-range plan and, and the future of what we're planning for the LSA. You know, I think one of the best things about the takes today is we're seeing a lot of kids and you can kind of hear them in the background. And that's what we do here at LSA. We serve kids and their families. And uh, we've got uh, some of our students getting ready to go to chapel this morning and hear God's word. We do that every Wednesday. But, you know, back to Coffee with Mr. Karsten from last week. You know, one of the things we talked about was our football team and off to a three and two start. Uh, how exciting. Um, coming up on the possibility of that five or six win season, maybe making the playoffs. But I think the thing I would share with you is homecoming. Homecoming October 9th. Like everybody to get ready for homecoming week, the week of October 5th through 9th, and especially send out an invitation, powder puff, and uh, food and fellowship, and the game on October 9th. That's Friday night. So hopefully everybody's making arrangements to do that and get your tickets in the office. And we're going to scroll through uh, a couple of the, the schedule and the specific times of our homecoming. And just a personal invitation to all of you to come out and celebrate homecoming at LSA. Go Lions! You know, the last coffee with Mr. Carson that we had, we were here in our theater. And if you remember, our room was set up for that long-range plan. Our board coming together to talk about what do we do, why do we do it, how do we do it and how can we be better at those things that are part of ministry here at LSA. We've turned our theater back into um, our regular theater today, but I wanted to tell you a little bit of what came out of that long-range plan. Really some specifics that we continue to focus on is the mission, the mission to serve kids. I mean, I've got my lapel pin on here that says kids are special people. And certainly relationally and the atmosphere was a part of that focus. We want kids to learn and we want them to look forward to coming to school. And, and I know those things are happening. We talked about the mission. Um, the most important thing that we do is bring in Jesus Christ to kids and, and their families. How are we doing that and how can we do it better? And then we focused on academics. Academics, quality education to prepare kids for now and for college and for their life, but even again, most of all, for their eternal life in their relationship with Jesus. We talked about finances, um, how, to, how to bring in the, the kind of, of financial support that is necessary for this quality education here at LSA. I want to take some, some time here today to thank some of our most recent support, and that was through our golf outing. Uh, we did a logo golf ball this year and uh, gave those out at the golf outing. But so many golfers, uh, 86 this year, and more sponsors than we've had at, at any time that we've run our golf outing. Um, just humbled to be able to look at that list that you're going to also see here as part of Coffee with Mr. Karsten. My way of recognizing them and my way of saying thank you to them, uh, they, with their help, uh, helped us raise $18,000 in the golf outing, which will go toward the ministry of the LSA. You know, I talk about the finances. Um, certainly, you can only do what you can do when that financial support comes through. And it's businesses and families like this that help us uh, get to where we need to be uh, to, to finance this ministry. So thank you to our sponsors this year uh, for the 2015 LSA golf outing. So as the board looks at better ways and different ways to do ministry for the LSA, we also took the time to survey our parents in a back to school survey. What I wanted to know this year was why did you send, why did you decide to send your son or daughter to the LSA? And we surveyed three different groups. We surveyed brand new families to the LSA. 
We surveyed families that have been here between one and three years, and then we surveyed families that were here and have been here for more than three years. You have the opportunity to be here for 13 school years at the LSA, K through 12. And the findings of what the board talked about in the long range plan really are interesting as you talk about why our families sent their children to the LSA. I wanna share that with you today a little bit. Um, back to school survey, 143 different families responded to this survey. Uh, first year parents, 30 different families responded. I'm sitting here in the kindergarten room and certainly many of our new families are kindergarten families, but I think it should be noted that 16 different high school students transferred into the LSA for the first time this year. So we have a lot of new families that shared these things with us. The top five reasons that they sent their children to the LSA this year was spiritual Christian church affiliation, small class sizes, the curriculum and quality education, it's a safe environment, and the positive atmosphere that feels like family. It's interesting that brand new families would already say that those five reasons are reasons they're sending their children to the LSA. I think that speaks to the reputation that the LSA has, and I think it also speaks to what other families are sharing with new families. It's really neat to then ask our new families, what was your first impression? 40 different responses as people said, what are your first impressions of the LSA? 40 different responses talked about it being welcoming, friendly, and family. And that's what's going on here at LSA. Our new families are already experiencing that and we just pass that on as a, a blessing that will help us in our long range planning too as we focus on these things. The other parents that we surveyed, one to three years, 42 different responses, 42 different families responded and listened to the top reasons that these families gave of why they sent their children to the LSA this year. Spiritual Christian school, small class sizes, the quality education and curriculum, the safety of the environment. They added faculty, staff, and teachers to the list, and then also positive atmosphere, family atmosphere. And so you can see a very similar list to our brand new families, except they added faculty and staff. Once these families have been here for one to three years, they notice how caring our teachers are. They notice how caring our staff and uh, faculty are to their family and for their children. Final survey group was 71 responses, 71 families that have been here more than three years. I think that's an interesting statistic in and of itself, that these families, once they've been here, they stay here. Uh, more than three years, 71 families said these are our top reasons why we send our children to the LSA, a spiritual Christian atmosphere, small class sizes, the quality curriculum and instruction, safe school, a positive atmosphere, family atmosphere. They added parent involvement and they also commented about the faculty and staff being of a quality nature. Again, once you've been here, you continue to notice how great our staff and faculty is and how then parents come together and make this ministry happen as they're involved in their kids' education. Why share all of these parent survey results with you? I think it's just to say we're very blessed to see what goes on here at the LSA. I would also share it with you to maybe ask you to share that with another family that you know as they would come in here and consider what might bless their families. And I continue to say it, all these families that give us this feedback are being blessed by the LSA, but they are indeed a blessing to the LSA. It's Coffee with Mr. Karsten. We talk about long range planning. I'll tell you more about that as the school board meets this, this, during this school year. It's Coffee with Mr. Karsten that looks at uh, some of our co-curricular programs. And it's Coffee with Mr. Karsten that stops in and says to parents, tell us why you sent your children here uh, 
to God be the glory for all the things that are going on at the LSA. We'll see you next time on Coffee with Mr. Karsten. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You get a little extra Coffee with Mr. Karsten this week. I forgot to tell you one more thing. The WSOY food drive is happening. We've been collecting in our classrooms this past week, and we are also collecting during homecoming week and on our homecoming day, October 9th, uh, football game that night, but that day we're going to take a lot of food that the, the students and their families of LSA have collected for the community here in Decatur. Uh, continue to pray for all of the families, the food banks, WSOY, what a, what a great event, and LSA is privileged and honored to be a part of participating in that. So you see some cans here that the kindergarten class has, has uh brought in and we had a lot of fun this week um, they got to bring in five cans and uh, have a free dress day each day that they brought in those cans so we talk about uh, doing this with the community but we talk about sharing god's love with other people so wsoy food drive don't forget take out your cans and take them down to uh, kroger on 36 on october 9th you'll see uh, lsa bus taking a bunch of our cans down there too. Again, to God be the glory, it's been Coffee with Mr. Carson.